Hi, welcome back to the channel. I am um, in the greenhouse today because I was watching Castle Hill Gardens yesterday and Cliff was um, trimming back his tomato plants. So I've decided to do the same because I want red tomatoes rather than green leaves. So in this boiling heat, I am going to cut back the tomato plant. So I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. Hopefully I can remember what Cliff was doing. Fingers crossed. So this is the tomato plant that is all leaves and then I'm probably going to massacre but we'll see. looking a bit better now and one of the side shoots <laughs> I'd missed it but here we have Not a bad little harvest. Got some nice big onion. Lovely. Now for some weeding. It's looking better. Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, it's Saturday the 21st of July today and um, I'm at the allotment and as you can see in the background there's no smoke over the mountain. Yay! Uh, that's because uh, someone had set fire to the fields up on Tumbalum, the mountain just across and um, the blaze had been going for over a week now so I'm hoping they put it out and no new fires are gonna start again but um, the damage it's caused is terrible uh, the smoke was so bad yesterday you could chew on it it was awful I had to get the cats in because um, I was just worried about them not that the fire would spread over here but the smoke would get into their lungs so they didn't like it but it had to be done so I'm gonna show you around the allotment today so I'm down at the second plot now and I'll just show you what's going on here so we're at the back of the plot and I just found a load of the cabbage white butterflies in under this net because they're uh, it's just too small for what's growing here now. So we've got the kale, which desperately needs weeding. And we've got some cabbages that have been growing in the shade. And unfortunately, I think the birds keep getting in here or something's ripping the net. Look, he's in there. So I may as well take these nets off because they're rubbish. And we'll have to build something a bit better. But my cauliflower has blown. But everything else seems to be doing all right so far. Got some broccoli. So next, I got confused with what I planted. So I think these are 
butternut squash. There's nothing on them yet on this one. If I go over here, this one, it's got a little squash. So last year my squash failed, so I'm really excited that there's something on it. I'm not sure what this is. It could be the Atlantic giant pumpkins or another squash. But there's that one. It's only little. But, uh, definitely something. <clears throat> this one hasn't got anything on it yet. But it should do. The first pumpkin plant that I planted, the pumpkins are huge. Look at that. Massive. I got about five of them. There's a little one there. Little. That one is huge. massive already. Let's see if I got any more. I know there's a butternut squash in there somewhere as well. I don't know where this one's coming from. I think this might be trying to grow another pumpkin but it's got enough. So I just carefully step over here. There's another one. Here's this one. That one. They're all massive. And then if I go over here. These are the outdoor girl. Now and then we've got the dwarf sweet corn after the tomato. I opened this one earlier. Don't think they're quite ready. Give them a little bit longer. I'll cover that up. And we got some more tomatoes. These are the Gardener's Delight, I think. Loads of them on there. And then the Outdoor Girl again. They're looking nice. I've got one red one. It's my first outdoor one that wasn't grown in the greenhouse. And my French beans seem to be doing really well. These are the Cobra. And they're looking lovely. Got some beans there, which I'm going to pick after. Lots of little beans on there. And on this one. But the failure I'm having is with the runner beans. I have tried everything. Now we are getting beans, as you can see there, on the moonlight. But they're covered in black fly, and literally, as soon as these beans start growing, the bugs eat them. I've tried garlic, I've tried, um, what do you call it? Uh, washing up liquid, the eco one. And the ants just seem to be bringing more. It's just hundreds of them. I lost two plants to them already. And these are the better ones. There's not so many black fly on these. The other ones completely went. They're just dead. And the sunflowers. This one. So 
So we've got the amazing London clematis. They're doing well. The tomatoes. I can't even remember what type that is. If we walk up here past someone's amazing asparagus. We've got the carrots. So I'm going to have to thin some of those out, I think. Lots of carrots. My asparagus that looks dead. Kale. The onions I did from seed. They're quite small, but they're still alive. Curly okay, kale. Some more asparagus. Looks like the celery needs a bit more water and weeding. They're growing. The yellow courgettes. There's a few on there. So I'll be picking those after. Maybe make some courgette cake. And then there's some mooly radish. Nearly touched it, but I can't touch them because the leaves make my skin go funny. Oh, it's warm. I've got some more onions to pick or pull up. The lettuce. My final sowing of beetroot is actually doing all right. So I think I planted the bolt hardy and then these are the stripy ones. So they haven't got as red a stalks as the others. And there's the Cape Gooseberries. Oh, it's so hot here. And we've got the potatoes. Which I'll have to start digging some of those up. And my tomatoes in the outdoor cold frame thing. And the Callaloo, they're just doing really well. Black fly, damn it, black fly everywhere. So I have to try some soapy water on those. The avocado seems a bit sun scorched, and then I've got some. Red tomatoes. Right, let's go and have a quick look in the greenhouse. Oh, it's just too hot. Whew. So there's some bees and hoverflies in here. But the grafted Shirley, the tomatoes are starting to turn red. Which is good. This tomato is not looking too healthy, but it's okay. And these are going to be yellow pear. And I've got two peppers. Um, what else have I got? The other tomato. I think these are the gherkins. They're doing all right. And we've got cucumbers, more gherkins. It's just loads. Then I've got my first melon. And these are the mini watermelons called Little Darling. So that's my first one. Awesome. I'll have to give that a drink because it looks a bit. Oh, it's not dry underneath. 39.9. I'm just so chuffed with this little watermelon. Something's at the tops off my. 
table spray in broccoli. And that appears to be another watermelon there. I go anymore. Nothing yet. But there should be more eventually. Right, let's get out of this greenhouse. Whew. So warm. have a look in the polytunnel where I had the surprise of my life I actually have two peaches so we've got one there and one just in there I haven't found any others and I thought it was going to be a bad year for the peach tree and I was right, but I didn't think I'd get anything, so I was well chuffed to get two. And then I've got these tomatoes. Lots more tomatoes. I won't go in there because it's boiling. Oh, I will. I will. Woo! It's like a jungle. So we've got the tigerella tomatoes there. And look down through there, that's my aubergine which is actually flowering potatoes from nowhere I've got more peppers lots more tomatoes, tomatoes tomatoes and in here this is the temperature in Fahrenheit So it's 40.3. Let's get out of here. So that's about it really. I've planted some more runner beans by here, just in case the others are lost to the black fly. We've got tomatoes out here. And we've got the goji berry, which has gone crazy. Oh my god, it's too hot. And oh god, that goji berry as well. Gone all the way through here. We've got dahlias. Love this colour. Absolutely gorgeous. And then there's that one over there. And the others are about to flower. And I've got the allium seeds. I'm going to have to cut their heads off and steal those seeds. Look at all those tiny little seeds. This one's just forming them there. That was the later flowering one. All the flowers. pumpkins and that's everything really Whew, it's too hot I'm gonna go and get a drink and this is today's harvest we got some French beans these are the Cobra the mini munch cucumbers two tomatoes and uh, three peaches that's all that was on there and I said the two yellow courgette. So it's not bad.